All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna be continuing on here with NBA. Hopefully, I get freaking traded soon. I I did play a game th uh, the other day, but my Elgato kind of screwed up, and some reason my computer's saying I need administrator access to access the via vi the video. <laughs> Forgive me if I feel a little bit tired during this game just because school started back up and I'm my uh, I had to go to a main campus which takes me about an hour and a half drive and so pretty much today I left about eight o'clock in the morning I got home about seven o'clock so I f feel a little bit tired I'm gonna still try to beast up in NBA anyways. Make me feel much better if I get traded to Denver. Give me the nuggets. Give me some nuggets. Oh, yeah, the freak. High disk usage? Go screw yourself. Completely nonsense. Let me check the task messenger. Ah, CPU's not bad. I don't know what the freak it's talking about. Go screw yourself, not 10. I'm taking my socks off. It's a little too warm in here. I had to turn my freaking air conditioner off to record. Because it makes noise. All right, who are we beating this time? The crowd is assembled here at the Target Center in Minneapolis, looking for the Timberwolves to have a victory here on their Rockets, huh? All right, put me on James Harden. Freaking beast the beard. Come on, I'm on Marcus Camby, huh? All right. Come on, old butt. This player based on numbers alone. It's the size well, now Marcus can be now. Sacrifices he makes for his team, playing through injury, through fatigue. Ah, uh, me. Well I mean, Give me that ball. I'll show one of them some stuff. Club. And another very obvious thing about him, Steve, is that he plays the game angry. Give me the ball. I think we're going Doesn't take much to set him off, and we've seen that side of him off. The road trip for the Rockets ends here as they leave for Houston right after the game. Going up against a capable opponent. Ooh, get put that back up. There we go. Good job, Kevin. Love. Well, Kevin, if they win this game, it would give them a victory in each of the first two meetings uh, this season against these guys. So, uh, you know, they play them. Come on, James Harden. See what you can do, man. Good start in the, uh, in the season series. And Steve, I think they would love wow. to kind of leg up and huge advantage if they could. I mean, that goes a long way to complete nonsense. Give me that ball. Guys, the the destroy him. Love is added to his game every season. You know, both with his three point shooting and slimming down to become more mobile. Where does he go from here with this? Game? Oh, how dare you, man? Come on, Brewer. How he works at it, he'll find something he can improve on. And so it's Houston with it. It's a three-point game. Brooks is freaking dominating you, freaking Ricky Rubio. What jumps out most is the balance offensively. They really spread the wealth. Get that out of my face, old man. In all areas, that was a very satisfying road win. On the clock. Brooks, that's a two-pointer. No good. Yeah. Hey, Rubio. Mark, you mentioned I'll freaking Lovis, score this time. I agree. He's really transformed his body since he came to the NBA as an right in sons. A lot of core strengthening exercises in the offseason. Still a beast on the board. He's got what, James Harden. Lower body strength in order to Where's the beard. Wow. I, 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 I don't want to let the monkey, but you, you do yoga as well. Oh, man. Come on, Kevin Love. You've never looked at Thanks, Kevin. You've never looked at Appreciate that. Now it's send it over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Kevin McCain. He said they've really right in. Better put someone better than Marcus can be on me. And can just dominate the glass. Defensively, you just can never leave him open. 
no open shots. Get a body on him the second a shot goes up. He no. It's easier said than done. But guys, that's the game plan. Thanks again, Doris. So it's the Timberwolves now. Dwight Howard missing his last shot. Money passes to Love. Oh. Come on, Dwight. What are you doing? I'm freaking foul, Kevin. No. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Look at that, Kevin Love, freaking swishes both. Tell you what, you've got to give the Houston Rockets a lot of credit, guys. After losing their franchise players to injury and to rebuild this team without tanking for lottery picks or going all the way to the bottom of the heat. Very impressive. Here is Rubio following the basket by Dwight Howard. Here's Money. Really played well against God dang it. Poke loose. Give me that ball. Yeah. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Martin kicks to love. Boom. Yeah. Such terrific on the ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D, it was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. And the Rockets with possession here, following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Parsons for three. Rebounded by Give me that ball. Yeah. Go, 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 go. And for the Rockets. Come on, Martin. Right in. Yeah. Of swinging big trades from Superstar. Well, then when they acquired James Harden, they finally got a cornerstone player. Now all of a sudden you throw in Dwight Howard, you've got another foundational player. So all these years of, of tinkering and trading and moving picks and moving players, it's finally paid off. Ooh, lucky. Really aggressive play, taking it to the rim against the big man. Tell you what, I love that fearless attitude. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. He said to them, the pick and roll is going to be our bread and butter today. If we run it effectively, they will not have an answer for it. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. And thanks for that story, Doris. Well, he defended God dang it. Shot, got back in the play and grabbed the board. Nice play. Oh, look at that. Our ball. Yes. A huge impact in their first season. These are the NBA's rookie scoring leaders. Well, you look at money, leading the right money. Such a great player. You know, there's oh, what, what that money? Yeah, class. and even among those top guns, he's the best of the best. Certainly, he'll be an offensive force for years to come. Oh, yeah, really excited for him to get his chance to play, Steve. And he has not disappointed anybody this season. He is a true talent. Here's Lynn after the made shot from Shved. Ah! Oh. oh, he almost, he almost missed that. Old school on us with the finger roll. Minnesota in the lead, and Shved kicks to Pekovic. Here's Money. He has six. Feeds to Calderon, and here's Shved from the arc. Nice. Shved's got five now. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Lynn kicks to Beverly. And Houston. Oh, wow. Good shot. Timberwolves have gone 7 of 9 from the field. A really nice start offensively for them. Shved with it. He's got five. Money passes to Coldera. No oh, good with the triple. Dang it. Here's Lynn. No good. Oh, man. I haven't seen one guy make that yet. This Wednesday. So All right. It's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and go. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. And the points they're getting in the lane will really help them open up the floor. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. So on the floor for Houston, 
Cannon out there with Jeremy Lin. That's Camby. Man, I hate that crap. And it's Jones in at the power forward. Lin kicks to Camby. That wasn't blocked. It's just my guy shot under hoop. Gets the front of the rim and out. Well, I tell you what. Yo, Mo. Up there. Even though it didn't go, that's one you got to take. Now here's Muhammad, defended by Lynn. It's Dang it, man. Jones. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. The feed to Canby. Oh, you Canby's lucky piece of crap. Canby's got it all tied up now for Houston. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. Yeah, that's 10 of the last 12 points they've allowed. Yeah, right back at you. What they've been able to do here is center around his offense. Oh, I missed. And Corey Brewers subbed in for Muhammad. You know, the Timberwolves have taken on an increasingly international character. Players like oh, J.J. Do. Rubio, Nikola Pekovic, and Alexei Sved. All important contributors. And Clark, a lot of European players. Yeah, I should have made mine, too. Maybe that's why the Timberwolves need to go after them. <laughs> well, maybe that's part of it. I don't know. But they've had pretty good luck with the international players. Some good talent that they've put together. Ricky Rubio checked in for Williams. Correa with it, guarded by Hart. And the shot. Yeah, yeah. And that's now 10 points for money. Fantastic pass. He turned that one into a pretty easy basket for his teammate. Parsons sets a screen for Harden. Harden gets a screen from Howard. It's Harden with the drive. Get that out of here, James Hart. Mother freaker. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Rubio dishes to love. Howard with the steal. Dang it. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Trailblazers. Boy, was he wow. Changed. He finished with 39 points, and there weren't too many shots that didn't fall for him. Really efficient night from the field. What a show it was as he put up some really amazing numbers when it was all said and done. Even we marveled at his performance, Kevin. Great job, Doris. But there you, Parsons, knocked me down on my butt. He can stay in a role like that tonight. There we go. He obviously hit on something that brought out the best in him, and you can be sure he's going to take the same approach in this one. Definitely. And as confident a player as he already was, now he's got to be feeling absolutely unstoppable. Aaron Brooks, he's checked in for Francisco Garcia. Back to Parsons. Unloads from 13. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Fresh from a win. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by their opponent, but hey, they took advantage of it. Yeah, I'd go along with that. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely box me to out, Jerk. They should have. Harden. God dang it, James Harden. Looks like he's finding his touch now because now looks the like the beard's coming in. Timberwolves trail by three. Rubio, the pass to Martin. He feeds it to Brewer. Pass to Rubio. Six on the shot clock. Here's money. That's good. Right in, baby. 14 points for money. You know, guys, I think back to some of the most exciting passes ever to play the game. Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, the late Keith Maravich come to mind. I think Rubio is of that ill. You think about those guys, they weren't just great assist guys, but they were able to give you assist that had some flair and some flavor to it. <laughs> I was covering Dwight Howard and the other day. I was getting bad block attempts all around. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and we've got some more modern talent representing as well. Yeah, you're talking the elites of the game when you go down that list. Interesting to see a, a new school stat juxtaposed with the old school legend. Oh, James Harden. Rankings obviously make sense if those guys are at the top. 
Catching up on the changes for Houston. Omer Ashmore, he's checked in for Howard. And it's Caspian for Cannon. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. There was no... Charging! Ball crap! Their lack of interior defense so far. Protect the rim. That's the priority. Quote, unquote. They're not going to wait for halftime. They want those adjustments to have an impact right away. Get that out of here, James. And Asha kicks to Brooks. Passes it to Caspi. A three-pointer, no good. Nice. Peck the bitch. And Rubio really took the league by storm, Steve, with his passing. Deft moves. Working through defenses. Whoa. Uh, what the frick was that? I heard a really rumble. He, he makes some passes that other people just wouldn't even be able to see. And just a phenomenal... Uh, Entertaining player to watch. Very flamboyant. That time. Nice shot. It might have been my phone. That is not enough coverage. Got to do better than that defensively. Basically, no coverage. I mean, huh. defense did not look very good there. I wasn't paying attention, you jerks. Ashik with the bucket. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Now here's Colderall. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Martin, the pass to Money. Rubio dishes to Martin. And it's Martin again missing. Oh, I thought I had that. He is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Rubio outside. He's looking for Calderon and finds him. Nice. Such a wide open look. And the Rockets with possession here. Last time they met in Houston. Remember in that last matchup, they, they really snuck out a win. 30-30. Tied up with some Rockets. Tie game in Minnesota. Now presented by Sprint. And it's halftime on 2K Sport. The Sprint Halftime Report presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. What a game we're seeing from Money. It seemed like he made everything he got. I mean, anytime he had an open look, he took advantage of the opportunity there. And that Come on, Marcus Camby. You can't be all over me like that. I mean, his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game. Rubio and Martin manning the back. Money out there with Kevin Love. Oh man. In at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put Whoa, James, where you going there, buddy? You look at Harden's career, he was a gifted scorer at Arizona State, but with a slow start in his rookie season, and playing with two of the best players in the league in Oklahoma City, people seem to forget that he's always been a player. Right over you, Marcus. How you like that, Marcus? Right over your old butt. Is ready to take control of this game. Yeah, that's a dunk that could absolutely get them going. I agree, Clark. Back to Brooks. Howard with a screen on Rubio. Brooks. Get that here. And with that Lucky shot, Marcus. Lucky. Is cut down to one and the bucket from Kim. Dunk it on your Even face again. Made it look easy with the salt. Oh, Ricky! Oh, my God, Ricky. And James Harden, the first ever draft pick by the Oklahoma City Thunder after the move from Seattle, certainly. To see him go so soon in his NBA career as he was reaching Stratton had to be tough for fans. And we know Clark certainly for his team. I agree wholeheartedly, Beer Kevin. Think of all the fans who wore fake beards on their faces, <laughs> even buildings in OKC with beards. Oh, James. Come on, come close there, buddy. Let's see what happens to you. He's got the fake hardened beard on right now next to us. I mean, geez. Beer the beard. <laughs> Harden against Martin. Here's money. Thank you. Right in, baby. 
five points now in the quarter. Guys, what a back and forth game this has been. You know what? You're right. Neither side has been able to hang on to the lead for any kind of time at all. Yeah, you're right. Plus seven lead changes already. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. They had a chance to check out Chandler Parsons here. Now last month turned out for him, averaging about 11 points, five rebounds, and two assists. Go, boys. And you really can't find much fault with him as far as his performances lately. Yeah, he's been very, very dependable, steady, uh, doing pretty much everything they've asked of him. Now here's Brewer. He's covered by Parsons. And the basket. Nice. Good shot. Third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. Yeah, and until they do, the problems inside are only going to get worse. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Rick Adelman gave to his team during that break. He said they're not working hard enough to get open looks. With too many shots coming against tight defense, they're going to start running more set. Oh! Okay, James. You want to get close? Let's get Chuck close. Make them make shots from the outside. There's still plenty of basketball left to play, and as we watch how these adjustments play out, Cav, it'll be interesting. All right, Doris. Thank you very much. Money passes to Brewer to the inside. Right in, baby. Money's got 21. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. The offensive rebound, Candy, and a missed lay. Yes. Exactly Not over me, Marcus. Contest every rebound. And Rubio kicks to Mark to the paint. Ah. with the steal. Brooks with it, and it's Martin picking him up. And Brooks, here we go, sinks the 15. Wow, of course. A risky shot there, size-wise, I mean, he easily comes out on the short end of the stick, so to speak. With the nice high release, he had no problem getting it off and knocking it down. And Schved kicks to Johnson. Here's Money. It's good with the assist that there time. There we go. 23 points for money. You know, they've been so effective when they've been able to get the ball inside. Some real shortcomings from this defense. I mean, ah. straight looks in the paint. Now the white got they me. Didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Well, that's important because this game, I think, is going to be decided by who controls the paint in crunch time. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. He outlined a new set of priorities for them. The main one being to attack the basket at every... Miss! Dang it. Parsons checked in for the Rockets. Two left in the third. And yes, sir, that one drops. Dang it, guys. Parsons got the lead up to three now for Houston. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. The kick out to Williams. Pass to Money. Six to shoot. Back to Williams. Fires top of the key. That one a little long. Dang. By three. They've definitely hit that groove offensively. They sure have, guys. I mean, really aggressive. And I like that posture and mindset. Stay aggressive. Yeah. Steve, you like your bench. Wow, you get stuffed over Pekovic. the attack mode this team is in, too. I mean, they're really getting into the paint. They're getting whatever they want offensively. All right. I'm going to win us the game. For them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. Holderone passes to Money. That's tipped. And now it's wow. Go all the way. A huge slam, the perfect end of the fast break. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run. Give me this ball right now. Exactly, Clark, what they wanted, the aggressive defense to lead to. Yeah, points in transition. Yeah, that's why you want to make the other team feel uncomfortable handling the ball because you can get easy points out of it at the other end. Here's money. That ball is nice. Right in, baby. And that's now 25 points for money. It's Harden with the drive. 
got it off in time, but it's no good. And as we all right, let's win this freaking game. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Oh, we might as well call it the State Farm play of the game. This was just a marvelous piece of coordination between two teammates completely in sync on the alley-oop. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. We've got Harden. Can be out there with Chandler Parsons. Then it's Jeremy Lin. And it's Brooks in at the one. Parsons outside. Three-pointer. Get that on my face. Out of bounds. Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. And this is what the schedule looks like for Houston. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. That game is the first and last of their home state. No doubt the Golden State fans, some of the best in the league, they, they want to see their Warriors win that one. And that one's good. Wow, I can't believe he made that. got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Rockets. Inside. No good for Monday. Dang it. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Hey, the defense was right there, just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. Kicks it out to Love. Shot clock at five. That's a two from Martin. Bullseye. All right, good shot. More offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Lynn dishes to Parsons. Here's Harden on the wing. Covered by Brewer. And that's collected. Kevin. Love. Yeah. Love's got three rebounds so far in the game. Now the pass to Money. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. And a moment now to check out who Minnesota has coming up. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. Houston making a switch. All right, let's go. Let's check in. Martin, the pass to Money. That's good. Yeah, yeah. He's got 13 points in the second half. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today, and they've needed it. Houston leading by three. Howard setting the pick for Brooks. He got Dang it. That Boy, that shot was made possible by the work Dwight Howard did. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. He talked mainly about giving them a different look defensively and dropping more bodies into the paint, saying, listen, they're eating us up on the inside, and we need to do whatever it takes. Right in, baby. Guys, back to you. All right, Gorse, thank you very much. Make it 10 of their last 12 points coming off assists. Wow, are they moving the ball right now? They look good. Harden kicks to Brooks. Brooks gets the screen from Howard. Brooks dishes to Howard. On the wing, Harden. Shot clock at six. Foul call that. Dang it. Two chances at the free throw line. Miss Bayard. Oh, man. Season, there were several teams that considered trading for James Harden. There was a question, though, over how much they were prepared to give up. And some questioned if he could be the first option on the team. That question's been answered. And the season before last, Harden won sixth man of the year. But, guys, do you think that because Harden came off the bench in Oklahoma City, that some underestimated his talent? Well, I don't think anybody underestimated his talent. I think he yeah. was the apparent what he could do. But, you know, scouts have watched him ever since his Arizona State days. You can see he had star potential. And now he's getting the opportunity in Houston to, to fulfill that. What you got? Come on. Get that. It's taken away by Brewer. Here's money. Oh, I missed the jump shot. No. Good D by Hart. Give me that. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down. There we go. Nice. Breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Rockets. Good shooting. has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ball game. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. 
Back to Brooks. Camby sets the screen for Brooks. And it's good. He oh, wow. Man, come on, Rubio. Cover freaking Brooks. Jeez. Right in, baby. Yeah. Sky high. Fantastic one hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. He's looking for Howard and finds him. Here's Camby. Ah, oh, well, I didn't cover my guy. God dang it. Howard's got three assists in the game. Really good awareness right there on the assist. And Rubio kicks to Mark. Passes it to Money. Right in, baby. to send the message Clark with that slam I think well that's how you said it two hands and hammer it down and I think Doris Burke has something for us right now Doris guys over that last break I listened to Kevin McHale address his team he was very animated in the huddle asking his players why they were losing so many physical battles and told them oh man principle that it's never too late to fine-tune the game plan Kevin over to you and thank you for that Doris 133 left to play in the final quarter here's Brewer and there's nice well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see get the ball inside and just take it slow oh oh I thought we got it well the defense has been very slow to adjust I mean that's 10 straight my ah crap this is the hard back to Brooks three pointer shot is no good ah uh, come here yes go 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 second he's come up empty Rubio the pass to Brewer outside mark he dishes it to Brewer pass to money to take the lead it's good. yes This lead out. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here. In the Ooh. It's Harden with the drive. He kicks it to Howard. Ah. Uh. There's not a lot you can do when Howard is on like he is now. The Timberwolves have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final. Period. No! God dang it! 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Three pointer, Brooks. Come on, get that rebound. Timberwolves shooting the lights out in this building, 68% from the field. And Rubio kicks the boot. Back to Rubio. Ah, James is on me. Dishes it to Love. Count it! Nice! Real serious guy dropping in. Exquisite assist. Come on, Mitz! He missed. Yes! We freaking won, baby! Yeah! Beat the freaking rocket, son! Yeah! Yeah, baby! Yes, I'm here with Kevin Love and Kevin. A very big effort to come away with this game. What does it mean to the resiliency of this team to pull out a win like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win, so I mean, we're really just grinding it out as much as we can. All right, baby. That. Five highlight, please. PS4 is freaking loud. Holy freak. Oh, yeah. Here we go. The final trade. Thanks for coming in. Listen, I'm going to be upfront with you here. We took your request to be moved seriously. Wish you could have stuck with us longer, but we all know this is a business. Your request has been granted. All right. Denver. Denver. Come on, Denver. Denver. Traded to the Golden State Warriors. A Warriors. A representative from their team will be in touch with you shortly to talk about the next steps. Thanks for your time here. And really, best of luck moving forward. Sure, how good the Warriors are.
Uh, the freak, it's black. There we go, finally. It is great to finally have you here. Please, have a seat. I want you to know I can speak for this entire organization when I say how thrilled we were to acquire you. We think you've got a lot to offer this team and we cannot wait to get you out in front of those amazing fans. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it was definitely time for a change of scenery. I can't wait to help this and team. And I'm wearing my timber bowls. I'm gonna take you freaking to swag. The rest of the team. But before we do that, I had our media team prepare a little video for you. I want you to think of it as our way of saying, welcome to the team. All right. Welcome to the Golden State Warriors. The San Francisco Bay Area is known throughout the world for its diversity and scenic beauty. Home to over 7 million people, it's the sixth largest media market in the country. The Golden State Warriors are a team with a cherished past, a promising future, and a tremendously dedicated fan base that gives Oracle Arena in Oakland one of the best home court advantages in the league. And now, time to meet your fellow Warriors at point. Stephen Curry, perhaps oh, yeah. the deadliest shooter of the last decade. Heck Every yeah. shot he takes looks like it's going. Now that's going to be good. At shooting guard, Clay Thompson, one of the purest shooters in the oh, league, yeah. who can also lock down the perimeter with his D. At the small forward position, Andre Iguodala, and a Oh yeah, heck yeah, baby. Who creates for others with ease. At the four spot, a true glue player who knows his strengths and weaknesses has no problem going inside for his shots. There we go, baby. Heck in yeah. Middle, a big body with big potential. He can eat up space inside and has a soft touch around the rim to help on offense. Welcome to Golden State. We are Warriors. He oh, yeah. Heck yeah, baby. Look at this freaking team. Stephon Curry, Clay Thompson, Andre Iguodala, and, well, my guy. Heck yeah, baby. Should be good. Let me see how good the Warriors are doing. Hopefully they're doing good so I can make the freaking playoffs. Yeah, change my gear, too. How good are the Warriors? Heck yeah, baby. Best team in the freaking division. Yeah. Well, this actually may be, turn out pretty good. Heck yeah. 